On BBC Sussex and BBC Surrey, Tuesday morning with Danny Pike till midday, 10 minutes past nine it is now. So I'm asking you this morning, is it right that councils should tell you to tidy up your property? What do you think? 03459 57057 is my number. You can text me 81333. Start your message with radio. Where do you draw the line between allowing someone to be able to do what they want in their own house or their own garden and intervening when their actions start to infringe on the enjoyment of others? Give us a call this morning. In the news this week, we heard the story of a couple from Hastings fined £600 for failing to clear up after their dog in their own back garden. Mark Jones and Lisa Powell, both of Deep Dean Gardens, failed to comply with a previous notice on three occasions. And last week, we heard about a man from Uckfield who's been prosecuted for failing to clear up his garden, which was seen to be so messy it was preventing his neighbours from enjoying their own homes and gardens. Kelvin Williams from Wildon District Council told us it was a particularly serious case. It was extremely bad. It was uh, so much rubbish uh, in the back garden that it was pushing over the fences. We do get a number of these cases from time to time. They get to an extreme position and, I mean, our local residents will look to the local authority in particular to try and resolve these problems. Well, it, it was broken bits of timber, basically old bits of corrugated sheeting, bits of plastic. You can imagine a typical skip and just think of that across the whole garden. That's the sort of type of impression the neighbours were having to put up with. I mean, clearly, one of the problems is when you have that accumulation of uh, rubbish, um, I mean, he may view that it's useful, but it then becomes a ground for possible rats and, and vermin, etc., and that that's, uh, you know, creates another problem. So that's Kelvin Williams from Wildon District Council. Let's talk to Jack Hart from the Freedom Association. Hi, Jack. Good morning. So uh, what's your position on this? I mean, say that garden that Kelvin was talking about there. What's your position on that? Well, our, our position would be, in reality, that when someone owns something, it's their private property, they have a right to look after it and do what they want with it. It's incredibly worrying that a council would feel it has the right to step in and tell someone how to, you know, look after their own property. But when it does then impact directly on neighbouring properties, then is it easier for the council to sort out or the neighbours to tackle it, you know, between each other? I think, when it, again, when it comes down to private property, it should be something that the neighbours sort out between themselves. It's really the thin end of the wedge once you allow the council to start stepping in and making these sorts of changes, because how long before someone can complain about the colour of your front door and all of a sudden it's the council's problem, they've got to get the colour changed. Uh, there's a difference, isn't there, between the colour of your front door and somebody who has a contents of a skip without the skip involved in their back garden because that really then impacts on other people's ability to enjoy uh, what's just over the fence in their garden. There's obviously a difference to begin with, but as I said, it's the thin end of the wedge. Once you start allowing the council to have these powers, have the right to force you to change what you do with your front garden, it's not a giant leap for them to start changing other things about your property. Okay, but um, in, in, in the spirit of good neighbourliness... I guess it's ideal if if you can talk to your neighbours and say, look, that's that, that's starting to become an eyesore, and there's I saw a rat the other day, things like that. But that can quite easily escalate, then becoming a, a long running, very stressful confrontation between neighbours, can't it? Well, it can do, but I would really hope we can all sort of behave like adults and actually look to ensure that we sort these things out ourselves. As I said, once we allow the council to step in, it really does give the council more and more power to change more and more things about your private property. Yeah, but if somebody doesn't give a hoot about how messy their garden is, they're very unlikely to give two shakes about what you think of it. But then you have the ability as an individual to take legal action yourself. If, if what they're doing is impringing on your private property, then you can take action. You shouldn't need the council to take action on your behalf. Jack, thank you very much.